All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to sort of the You Like That podcast. My name's Jack. I am one half of the You Like That podcast. Uh, this isn't really a real episode. I just wanted to chuck something up because we didn't do anything this weekend because of me. Um, I just didn't have time to do anything and sort of left Adam out to dry. Um, Adam's also doing something tonight. He's doing some news and headlines and rumours and stuff, and it sounds pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited to hear that. Um, our own biggest fan, me. Um, so yeah, I just I set out to just watch something shit as sort of punishment, but you know I do enjoy sitting through something terrible every now and then. <clears throat> oh my god, it's like I did a shot of gravel before I started recording. Um, so I watched Spawn. I watched 1997 Spawn. Um, I'm I'm fascinated by pre superhero formula superhero movies. Um, you know. Your, your late 90s, early 2000s, your Blades, your X-Men's, your, a bit later on, but your Fantastic Four, which I shamelessly love. I really fucking love Fantastic Four. And Spider-Man, of course. We all love Spider-Man. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Just trying to do some audio on the fly. Um, yeah. Spawn. Fucking hell, it's not good, is it? <laughs> Spawn is comfortably the worst movie I've ever seen. It is genuinely offensive, but because of that, it is the strongest recommendation I will ever make. I cannot urge you to go out, get on Australian Netflix and watch Spawn as soon as you possibly can. Get some of your friends around, get shithouse hammered drunk and try and get through it. It is one of the most astonishing movies I have ever seen. It is every, every, genuinely you can't go longer than 45 seconds in that movie without asking yourself out loud, how did this pass? How did anyone, even in the late 90s, see it, listen to it, even on set, that like, how, how, how did any of this happen? Um, so... Whatever, your yeah, secret agent is uh, a good killer guy. He kills people, good. Hey, but he doesn't like killing because he has a family and he wants to marry his wife and he loves his wife. Whatever, we've been there. We've you've seen it a million times. Um, and his boss is like his boss. Martin Sheen is a brilliant actor. He's an incredibly accomplished and decorated actor who's just brilliant in every single way. But he's the he's the big bad in this movie, and it is farcical. It is a farcical performance. Like he's genuinely doing every cartoon evil guy voice ever. Like it's like Duke Nukem if he smokes thirty cigars a day. It's so fucking funny, and he's got this fake beard, which might not be fake, but it just looks ridiculous on Martin Sheen. It's just so weird. Anyway, he's the bad guy, and he. He sets sets up Spawn, whatever his name is, before he Spawn kills him, sends him to hell. Hell guy, who is like whatever the main demon. I gotta be honest, I stopped watching. Pretty. Oh no, I got a decent way into it. It's only ninety minutes, which I fucking love that about nineties movies. They are so short. Um, bring that back, please, please stop making fucking three hour movies. I can't, I can't. I can't imagine how long Tenet's going to be, but even though I'm excited for it, good God. Anyway, yeah, I stopped watching towards the end, so sorry if this isn't the most informative review, but it shouldn't be because you should go and watch it immediately. And yeah, he gets sent to hell. Demon guy wants him to lead an army of hell to bring about Armageddon. Sure. Why not? <clears throat> uh, and then there's, you know, the implied battle between good and evil that is that is metamorphosized i just made that up that doesn't mean fucking anything manifested through spawn and his own internal battle with good and evil he just wants his family back but if he's got to do horrible things that will ultimately affect them because it affects their world you know what's he gonna do if you're not watching the video i'm so sorry i'm completely talking with my hands um, whatever. Watch the video. 
this is the ugliest offensive. I'm going to keep saying that word. It is an offensive movie. It is so horrible to look at. It looks like uh, it, in the 90s, computer tech got better, right? It got better and better. And therefore, you know, people had more free reign to use it. It's a really fascinating time in movies because everyone had access to it all of a sudden, straight away, everyone had it. And some studios knew what to do with it. Can't think of an example because it all looks pretty bad. I guess The Mummy, maybe? The Mummy looks pretty good in most respects. They knew what to do with it. They had obviously had a bigger budget. You, it still scales like it does today, you know, bigger budget, better CG, smaller budget. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta put Vaseline on the lens. This is just, well, I don't know who they outsourced. Was it a child? What was he working on? Was he working on like a, you know, that Hot Wheels branded all-in-one computer? Was he working on one of those? It, it's insane how this passed. Even in the 90s, this would have looked ab absolutely awful i mean god the the devil guy is so funny you have to look it up no you don't have to look it up you have to watch the fucking movie please go and watch it straight away and just please talk to me about it he, he's like he's talking and he's doing the big devil voice but it, it's pretty much just a gif the the you know he's he's just doing that his head's just doing that and he's not, his mouth isn't matching up at all. Even when he's not talking, it's just the same loop of him doing that. And then they'll show a front on shot. And the, and the, the um, front facing profile just looks so fucking stupid. It's insane. It is absolutely insane. I can't stress it enough. Oh, God. Spawn. Spawn. I, I really like the practical makeup when he's not full, full spawn. Um, he, you know, they actually put him in a full suit, prosthetics, like with all his burnt up skin and stuff, and it looks great. It looks awesome. Even when he's talking, it's not like, it's not like the thing in Fantastic Four. He's actually like sort of, sort of emoting, I guess. He's not a very good actor either. Underneath all this fucking prosthetics, tough gig. But when he is Spawn, he's just a stump man in motorcycle leathers and like a spray painted hockey mask. It is unbelievable. It is just unbelievable, and my jaw was on the floor the whole movie. He's got this cape, and you would have seen it, surely you would have seen the cape, but it's like, <clears throat> he jumps off a rafter or something, and like, you expect, oh yeah, the cape's gonna come out and he'll fly like Batman, but <laughs> it's just like, it's the size of like a fucking jumbo jet, and it takes up the whole screen, and it just keeps going, and it's just like, what were they, what the fucking hell was anyone thinking making this movie? How did it get past any stage of development, any at all. Um, yeah, and then they just kind of fight. There's like, you know, there's like the guardian angel guy. He's like from the old British medieval times. He's wearing chain mail, but he's got a sword and he can kill Spawn at any second he wants, but ultimately wants Spawn to be on his side and fight with him because he sees potential in him. Whatever, it doesn't matter. The story doesn't matter. And then I got to the bit where, you know, they all, they're all in the same room, whatever, it's all culminating. And that's when I picked up my phone and just completely stopped listening because I just don't care. There's, I was not, not gripped by this. <sighs> but, but, on top of all of this, on top of all the awful CG, all the boring, not interesting story, all the weird the weird edits and the filters over it and the weird, you know, love triangle storyline, the boring fights because the stuntman can barely move. The worst, 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 worst thing I have ever seen in a movie that made me question ever watching a movie, ever, in my life. My whole pursuit, my whole life has been about movies and loving movies and being passionate about movies. I, I seriously, John Leguizamo in this movie as the fucking clown thing, it, it just made me, it didn't even make me sad about movies. It made me sad about being alive. And, you know, if you're, you know, reach out to Lifeline and stuff, 
shouldn't joke about this, but I have never, never wanted to put myself into an oven more than John Leguizamo's performance in this. He's, I love John Leguizamo. He's a hilarious man. He's a very, very funny, great actor. <clears throat> Seemingly super affable, just like loves what he does. Family sort of guy. But what the fuck is he doing in this movie? What, what is that character? It doesn't look like anything. He's in this giant like inflatable sumo suit that he can barely move in. And he's got these big like false teeth in that he can barely talk through and he's just like he's supposed to be like the comic relief whatever and I know I guess they sort of succeeded because his role in the movie is to antagonize and to egg on spawn and make him angry and get him fired up to do this big whatever demon fight shit but it works too well he is so annoying he is so scary skin-tearingly infuriating to watch. He is, his performance is baffling. It, it's dumbfounding. Was there any direction? Was there a script? He's like making fart jokes and he, he says an ableist slur at one point and it's just like, he picks up a pizza and there's like maggots on it and he goes, ugh, I hate anchovies and picks it off and that's meant to be like the big funny line but it's just, he can barely talk and he is so unlikable as a character. You're just like, I just want to jump through the TV, jump back in time, set fire to this whole set and just pretend this never happened. This movie is the worst stain on cinema ever, 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 ever. And it is, you have to watch it. It is, again, my strongest recommendation today. You have this weekend, get people over. Honestly, get people over, get people drunk and try and watch it and just, you'll see what I mean. It, the Room what? No one gives a fuck about The Room. This, this is the ultimate bad movie. Because it is just like an action superhero movie that you can watch easily. You don't really have to pay much attention to. But you will be paying attention. You'll be glued to the screen from how bad it is. You, you'll just be like, what? What is happening? The whole time you're just like, why is this happening? What the hell? But yeah, look, it, it doesn't matter. It just, the story doesn't matter. You don't need to know any more other than atrocious Nintendo 64 CG, appalling acting from two very great actors, a, a, a dismal script, dismal direction. Yeah, Spawn, 1997. I don't give a fuck who directed it because it doesn't matter and he probably never did anything again after this. And he deserved not to because it's just appalling and offensive and you have to see it. It's it's something. It's definitely something. Um, yeah, like I said, just a short one. Mostly for YouTube if I put it up in the audio feed at all. But yeah, you know. Sorry about the weekend, sorry about missing one. We've got one coming this weekend. Adam's got something coming very soon when this goes up. Nah. Um, and we will see you this weekend for a new movie. It's going to be one of two new, new movies. New movies. Jesus. Um, one of them looks really good and one of them... Ugh, one of them is another punishment. Another drag. Um, don't tell Adam, but I like those ones a little bit more. Anyway, thank you for listening to or watching or both the You Like That podcast or at least one half of it. I have been Jack. I remain being Jack and I probably will still be Jack in the future. Thanks, guys. See you later.